All right, CBT lesson, uh, Slipknot, Vermilion. This is the guitar solo. This is the studio version. Um, you know, there's a lot of wah in it, and some of those notes are really hard to actually get uh, because there's so much wah effect. It's not through the whole solo. So, um, and I don't know if it's, I'm saying your name right, Lauf, Laufe or Laufey. Um, and then I also got a CVT of the live version as well. Um, it's drop B on the tuning. So your top one. This is the only guitar I got that I can uh, put in that tuning. So uh, if it goes out of tune a few times, bear with me on it. <laughs> um, so starting at 222, this is the studio version. Like I said, we're going to have two separate videos here. Um, we're going 12th fret G. And then a unison bend on 10E, 13B. I would use index and third and back the third finger with the middle on fret 12. And you're going to bend it. And it's a bunch of, as you're holding the bend, about 30 times and you'll spin uh, three quarters of the way through, just start dropping the bend slowly. So it's... And also start going to a single string, just the B string, about halfway through on that. That's the 222 subgroup, at, uh, or timestamp, same difference. 228 um, is the next one, and that's 18B, third finger. You're going to bend, release, pull off to 15. And then this cool little concept of pick 18, pull 15, slide 13. You want to get used to that because he's going to apply it in some other spots. And the next one is 1513B, pick, pull, slide to 11. So those are moving in whole steps. So we have. Okay, and we're going to continue linear down that string. Um, the next one is um, 1311 to 10. So we have. When you get to that 10, you're going to go, uh, just lost my spot, get to that 10, you're going to go 11B, pull off to 10, pick 12G, and the concept changes here, as a matter of fact, so is the timestamp, 231 is the next timestamp, and he kind of does this the same live, you'll see, he, he does more on the live one than this, um, but you'll, you'll, you'll see the difference between the two. You're going to pick the 10, hammer to 11, pull off to 10. So we got to keep this index down and do that twice. And then down on 12G. And then up on 10B, hammer 11, pull 10. You're going to see double dots. That's for your repeats five times of all that. The one time is... Okay? You're just going to keep repeating it. really cool. Um, the next one comes in at 235. It's 10B, hammer 11, pull 10. So that's kind of a consistent thread throughout throughout this. And it's going to do a pick, hammer, pull, moving on down. 10, 11, 10. Actually, I don't think we go to 3, 5. But you'll go. Then move to 8B, do the same thing. Hammer to 10, pull to 8. 6B, pick, hammer 8, pull 6. 5, hammer 6, pull 5. So we that's the, the furthest one this way. Slow down. Triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. And then he's still going with that concept, but he moves back up to the 6th fret B. And... Um, Pick, hammer to eight, pull to six, and then back to the five, six, five, pick, hammer, pull. So it's a back and forth there. Right? And then the wah really kicks in here, and this is hard to hear. He's like pressing it like a gas pedal, and it's a lot of wah. It's a... Really 
Really cool run though. 2G pick, hammer to 3, pull off the 2, down on 5D, up on 2G. That's our first chunk. Okay, then 5D, pull off to 3, hammer to 5. And then 2G pick, hammer 3, pull 2, hammer 3. So that subgroup would be... So it's nice to subgroup those, man. You take a bigger run and just, you know... Make sure you follow the same fingering as well throughout this. Same concept now, but we're going to go 3G to 5. So 3, hammer 5, pull 3, down on 7D, up on 3G. So it resembles this, but it's up here. Call that playing modally. And it's moving up the scale. Okay, now to finish that one out, i going to turn it over to page 2. Uh, 7, pull 5, hammer 7 on the D. And then 3G, hammer 5, pull 3, hammer 5. So... And then one more of those concepts, 5G, pick, hammer 7, pull 5, down on 8D, and then up on 5G. That's a good little subgroup too. Okay. 8D, pull off to 7, hammer to 8, 5G, hammer to 7, pull 5, hammer 7. That subgroup, and the whole thing. So, oops. And then um, finish it off with 8G. This is a linear run going up the neck. You're going to pick, pull to 7, and then pick 8. Same thing on 10 and 8 on the G. Pick, hammer, or pick, pull, pick. So we have. Same thing on 12, 10, 12, pick, pull, pick. Then back to 10, 8, 10, pick, pull, pick. So we have. And we're not done. Uh, 14, 12, 14. And that's going to be pick, pull, pick. Experiment with the fingering in here, or the pick direction. Because I was doing two different ones. You have to see what you adjust to. Maybe try and up on the 14, pull the 12, and then down on the 14. 17, 14, 17, same concept. Pick, pull, pick. And then 12, 10, 12 on the G, pick, pull, pick. End it with a 13B, and it's a two-step bend, which is four frets. You're bending this to this note. Right there. And that is it for the studio version, okay? Um, I'm going to do the live one for you right now, and you'll see it's it's similar, a little longer. Um, he alternate picks on some parts in that one that he does in, in this one, um, but really cool. Take your time. I did put pick directions, um, but particularly on that last part, experiment whether you want to go with a down on the start on those triplets or an up. See what you adapt to the most, what feels the most comfortable. It's a tough solo to play because the wah, like I said, is really kicking. And um, it kind of covers the notes. It's like if you put a bunch of delay on something, it's hard to articulate what's the start note and what's the delay, the, the delay note. So anyways, I'll get you going on that second one now.